Hello, my dear friends. I'm Ksenia. Welcome to my channel, Saint Petersburg Me. And today I decided to discuss a very... Uh, um, um, I don't know how to call it. A very interesting and provocative topic as how Russians will survive the sanctions. So, okay. Um, recently I have uh, received a lot of comments um, which were stating the phrase that oh now you will lose your nice um, lifestyle uh, <laughs> my dear friends if you think that Russians most Russians before all this had a nice lifestyle you are mistaken it's not true if you have ever heard that oh russians are okay they live nice and wealthy it's not true most of russians live between poor and very poor uh, there are some russians who live slightly above being poor and there is very there are very less russians who live uh, like a middle class and <laughs> there are even less russians who live a wealthy life oh my god the wind is so cold ah. oh sorry but i will have to to be like like this okay so let's start how russians will survive sanctions okay so we know that many russians like most russians are not wealthy and not even close to being wealthy so believe me our history uh, taught russians to survive and through history many russians developed a very strong skill to surviving and now let me tell you who will suffer sanctions the most so people who live in big cities like moscow and uh, saint petersburg maybe novosibirsk or um, uh, rostov on don will suffer the most because the most enterprises are situated there and now that they are leaving russian market uh, of course there will be a lot of uh, 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 employee cuttings so many people will lose their jobs and of course uh, as people who live in cities uh, have not so very strong skill of surviving because they just got used to more to more than people who live in small cities small towns and villages of course people who live in um, um, villages <laughs> are the best with their skill to survive uh, but of course um, everybody you know uh, even uh, of my age or more or less um, acquainted with the skill of surviving because I, uh, I lived through 90s it was my childhood and teenagers but still <laughs> you know I saw it with my own eyes. So um, now people who live in uh, big cities, they of course have dachas. So many people who have dachas will just be um, <laughs> growing vegetables, vegetables and fruit. Uh, in their dachas. If you are um, here for the first time, um, I will explain what dacha is to you in a few words. Dacha is a piece of land that people in modern Russia buy or uh, in the times of the USSR the government gave uh, people for free and then in 90s they um, just bought uh, those pieces of land from the government so that's how they got pieces of land where they can um, grow food their own food so many people in russia will grow their uh, grow their own food 
So my dear friends, uh, this is how basically all Russians who live uh, outside big cities, who live in small towns and villages, survive. So as you can see, this is the variety that my mom has. And those are basically called zakatki. We call them zakatki. And uh, those are basically uh, jams, um, like salads. Uh, so here uh, is what we call um, pre-cooked meals. For example, here it is uh, the pre-cooked rasolnik. Uh, so it's um, barley, it's uh, vegetables. So you have to put it in a pan and to add some water and meat. And basically you have a soup. Here is pre-cooked borscht. My mom cooked um, uh, beetroot for borscht. Um, so here it is also borscht. Um, rasolniks, more rasolniks here. Here it is like ketchup, homemade ketchup. This is pickles, pickled cucumbers. This is pickled um, tomatoes. Also, my mom has juice. Here you can see juice, apple juice. And, for example, some salads. This is lecha. Uh, lecha is a Bulgarian recipe, but Russians also like it, so my mom cooked it. Um, also, we have, so what we have here as well, for example, this one is a Georgian product, uh, like a recipe from Georgia. Uh, those, uh, this is their sauce for meat. And <laughs> many people in Russia will grow their meat also because uh, there are a lot of uh, people who grow hen, chicken, rabbits, uh, pigs, uh, cows, goats, and other stuff. And uh, eventually, if things and when things will get worse, they will just start uh, selling their uh, products, meat, milk, eggs, uh, cottages that they will uh, will do by themselves. They will start selling that to other people. And um, they did that previously. Uh, so people will uh, live on their own food, will uh, uh, depend on their own food. And I think many people who had dachas, but they, they were not used as uh, vegetable gardens will start will have to start do that again <laughs> like in soviet union so uh next point is that you know most russians eat very simple food uh on my channel you can you have already watched uh, some videos with the recipes with the russian recipes and i got many comments that, that those recipes were plain blunt not very tasty but <laughs> you know that is how we eat we eat very simple we eat ordinary food we don't eat luxurious things we don't eat um, seafood that often um, so uh, most Russians can really oh my god I don't know how to how to how to put my frame okay most Russians can really literally survive on potatoes on cabbage and on buckwheat really that is our reality I as for me i can survive on those products and uh, that's how i will do that uh, while i'm still in russia so next point is that soon summer will come and people will uh, harvest everything that they will find in forest like mushrooms and berries so uh, i made a video 
on how I'm doing that uh, and how my f my family yes, do, uh, is doing that and my extended family is also doing that so uh, you can watch that video uh, and they will um, gather pick um, um, cranberries they will pick will be picking even raspberries blackberries blueberries everything that they will just find in forests they will harvest so my dear friends believe me russians really have a very strong skill of surviving uh, that's how we will basically live through the sanctions there were also many comments that oh you don't understand why sanctions were imposed in russia believe me i have a university education and i know how sanctions work and why they are imposed on a country so believe me in this situation uh, most probably I um, know and understand more than you so my dear friends and and I also got many um, comments on my last video that I'm complaining that I lost my job you know the last thing that I will allow myself to do is complaining about my life really i'm not complaining i was not complaining i was sharing and telling how the situation is in russia oh there is only one only one thing that i allow myself to complain is <laughs> saint petersburg weather The weather in Saint Pis the weather in Saint Petersburg is awful right now. Everything is melting. Everything is muddy, and you know the <laughs> the biggest problem is that uh, the dogs shit or shit, the dogs shit, uh, is emerging to the surface because nobody in Russia cleans after their dogs welcome and uh, you know uh, now I can I will just um, tell you a little bit uh, about the situation on my channel I started receiving many uh, many uh, uh, comments that um, uh, um, I don't know hate hate comments so yes my dear friends i delete them and i block those people who spread hatred on my channel my channel is not the place where you can do that so please find another place to spread your hatred to spread your um, uh, mean thoughts and ideas uh, um, on russians um, I will not be um, allowing you to um, um, to use bad language towards me and towards my subscribers. So uh, I repeat to you once again that my channel is not an environment, not the place for hatred. If you want this, you can share your thoughts directly to the people who are in charge for uh, of all this situation just write a, an email to them write a mail to them and just uh, do something directly uh, i'm not even you know acquainted to those people who are who caused all this all this what's happening now in Russia and Ukraine so uh, unfortunately I will not be able to transfer your thoughts your very uh, unsympathetic and emotional comments to them so please 
go ahead and uh, and mail and email directly to those people, not to me. Believe me, my opinion doesn't mean anything in this country. So please do it yourself. And for those who spread light and love on my channel, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me with a good wor word, with uh, kind and sympathetic comments. And the percentage of the comments that are not good is, of course, less that than the, those who, uh, which are very, very sympathetic. Thank you so much for supporting me, for supporting my channel, for uh, being with me. Thank you so much, my dear friends. And see you in the next video. Bye, guys.